Hey guys, I'm Becky from Bookbit Reviews and welcome to my Summerween TBR. This year is going to be my first Summerween. I am so excited. So for those who don't know what this is, this is a week-long readathon that is Halloween, spooky, horror inspired. It's for those like me who truly lives and breathes Halloween and wants to celebrate it in July. Now this awesome readathon is hosted by Olivia Reads a Latte and Gabby Reads. I will have both of their channels linked down below. It takes place from July 2nd to July 8th. I believe it starts on Friday and ends on Thursday night. Friday morning. I'm pretty sure that you can do it in your own time zone, so that's how I'm going to be doing it. I will be doing it in Eastern Standard Time. So for this readathon, there are five prompts. Three of them are reading and the other two are more like fun prompts. So we'll start with the fun prompts. The first one is to read in the dark. I definitely plan on doing that. I have two of these, I believe, on audio. I don't think I've looked up the third one. And I'm sure I can also get some of them on ebook because that's the easiest way is on my Kindle or an audiobook to read at night, especially because my husband gets up very early for work and no matter what light I use, he's annoyed. So that one is going to be an easy one for me. The other more fun non-book related one is to bake or make a drink to go with your spooky reads. Now I don't know what I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm gonna bake or make a drink. If I make a drink, it's probably gonna be like chocolate milk, coffee, maybe hot cocoa. If I bake, it may be cookies. That's all I can think of. That one's a little, slightly more challenging, but it's gonna happen. I am also, I should mention, going to be vlogging during this. So I will vlog the entire time and I'm very excited. So I will be featuring these challenges in that. So now it's on to the three reading prompts. So the first one is to read a paranormal. And for that, I'm going to be reading The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. I'm really excited about this. Um, this is definitely a horror. It has a paranormal element. It is about, I believe, five or four. So it's about four American Indian men who have strayed away from their culture and traditions. And they are, I think, like reminded of something that happened in their youth that I don't know if that event led them to leave their traditions behind or if it's just like a coincidence that they've left their traditions behind and this thing happened. But something traumatic happened in their childhood. It comes back to haunt them. And I think it's some kind of paranormal demon aspect because they aren't living up to their traditions. So I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book. It does sound very creepy, but also um, very kind of like timely and talks a lot about like a social commentary on things. So I'm excited. The next prompt is to read a horror. And for that, I'm going to be reading My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. I'm so excited. I recently bought this copy and look how pretty it is. I was going to use it for the next prompt, which would be such a cheat. We'll talk about it in the next prompt, but I decided to go ahead and use this one for horror because it is. I think it takes place during like the satanic panic in the 80s and it's supposed to kind of read like a teen horror film about a girl who is supposedly possessed. And I read The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix, and it was absolutely amazing. And I've heard about this book before I read that one, and I've also heard this one is pretty great. So I'm very excited about it. I don't know. I think I'm going to be reading it on, or listening to it on audio, but then following along with the physical copy, because that's what I did for Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, and loved it. So I think that's the plan. I just, ah, I'm very excited because I know that the other one was like gory and gruesome, but I was able to sleep at night from what I remember. So I'm hoping like we get the same vibes out of this and that it, it really, the last one brought up a lot of like social issues, like secretly. And I'm hoping that we get the same with this, but I just like, look at this cover. It's so pretty. I love that it looks like it's a VHS tape for a teen horror film. It's just so cool. Like it even has the please be kind and rewind sticker. Love it. 
So then the last prompt is one that is very easy and you technically don't have to stick with the whole like summer ween theme. This could be, you know, the other ones are paranormal or horror. I wanted to keep those aspects in it. I think I did so. I'm honestly not sure. But the prompt is to read a book that has Halloween colors on it. Now, when I watched Olivia Reads a Latte's announcement video for this, she said to her, Halloween colors are like black and orange, sometimes also green and purple. So any of those like four colors. And I found a book that has all of those colors on it. And that is Indelible by Dawn Metcalf. Now this one, I'm pretty sure that it's more of like a paranormal fantasy romance. Um, it does sound like it has like some creepier elements, but I think it's going to be a, a much lighter book compared to the other two, which honestly, that's fine. Um, first of all, look at the cover. Very, very pretty. We've got the oranges, we've got the blacks, we've got the purples, and then I don't think the camera's really picking it up, but there is some like greens within this like orangey bit. So this book is about a girl who I think she's like at a club or something or maybe at a party but she sees this boy dressed in all black and even has like black eyes and I think she follows him and then he tries to cut out her eyes and ends up like not but because he has like marked her it technically means that like she has his protection and so now um, in order for them both not to die because I think it's like a mistaken identity thing I think he's supposed to be taking the eyes from somebody and he accidentally tries to take her eyes. I don't know. I don't know what, what or why the eye thing, but that happens. Um, so now she has to like pretend to be his chosen one, his helper, his lover, his something for the foreseeable future. And if she fails, then they're both um, in some really deep shit. So it does say that there are a world of strange creatures, illusion, mortal honor and revenge. So it sounds dark, but it still sounds like, I mean, she's pretending to be his love. So I think they're going to fall in love. So while it's not as dark as the other ones, it is a darker fantasy romance. So totally counts. But also I think if these two scare the shit out of me, then at least I had this light fluffy thing. I don't think it'd be fluffy, but at least I had this lighter novel to kind of, you know, clear the palette. So yes, those are my prompts. I don't know. I don't think in the video Olivia even brought up about if you could like combine or anything. I'm just going to try to read all three books. The only one that I feel like might change is Indelible. Just because like what if I end up not really digging this? This might get switched out. For what? I have no idea. I have no idea. If we can combine, then My Best Friend's Exorcism also works for the prompt to read something with Halloween colors on it because um, it's got rainbow. That's why I said it was a cheat. So yes, those are the books that I will be reading during Summerween. I'm very excited about it. I hope that you guys are planning on participating with me. If you are, definitely leave a comment down below. I would love to cheer each other on through this. If you need ideas of what to read, there is a tag video. I thought about doing it, but I don't feel like I'm the right person to do it. So the tag is created by Colleen from Little Ghost Creations. And it's, it's a mixture of like fun, spooky questions, like pick your favorite fall treat mixed with book recommendations. Like what's your favorite thriller? What's a horror that you recommend? Um, I don't read a whole lot of horror. I read paranormal. I read thriller. I just don't read a whole lot of horror. And I just felt like I wasn't the right person to give those kinds of recommendations. Paranormal I could because majority of my shelf is paranormal. But thriller I've just recently gotten into over the last like year and a half. Um, horror I'm slowly dipping my toes into. So I didn't want to do the tag, but like I said, Colleen from Little Ghost Creations as well as Katie Colson did this tag. And then I believe that Olivia and Gabby have also done the tag. So I will have all that link down below if you want to get some ideas. But all right, guys, that is everything that I have for you in this video. I can't wait to do this. I hope you guys are doing it with me. And I think that's it. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to please give it a thumbs up. Keep reading, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. People say be badly in love, in love. Uh -uh. People say be